Okay, for this question, we are going to apply total unchanged concept. Why is that so? Where do I know that this is total unchanged concept? It is this sentence. The one I underline in blue. If Kawe gives five erases to Parker. So in this question, there are only two boys, Kawe and Parker. So Kawe gives to Parker, Parker gets from Kawe. When the change is between one another, the change is between the two items, it is known as total unchanged concept. All right. So change is between each other okay so you know that when it is unchanged concept the b c a must be found first okay so let's start if kawe give five erases to parker he will have twice as many erases as Parker. So you know that this one, the giving action, the action of giving is my change. What happened? Kawe gives five erasers. Give means minus five to Parker. Parker gets it, so Parker plus. Kawe minus Parker plus. Plus what? Five. Minus what? Five. Okay? Then comma, he will have twice as many erasers as Parker. So this is my after. Who is the he? He means ka way. All right, we have twice. Twice means two units. As many erases as Parker. So Parker is one unit. Then if you move on to the next sentence, I have, uh, they are given a total of 45 erases altogether. So this is actually my before information. I only know the total of 45. Okay. How many erases does Parker have? Okay, so I have underlined all the keywords that I have. And before is found, change is found, after is found, it's time for me to draw out my box. So I draw out my box. We make it a big one. Then we are going to cut it up into three columns. Why must it be three? Because total unchanged concept, there is a total column at the side. Okay. So this is Kawei and this is Paka. Okay, then the before, the change, and the after. Draw a line, draw a line, and we are ready to fill it up. So, before Kawe, I do not know. Before Parker, I do not know. Before total, I know. 45. Fill it up. Okay, change Kawe. Yeah, I know. The change is there. C. Can you see that? The change. Kawe gives 5 eraser. Minus 5 to whom? To Parker, Parker plus 5. Okay, all right. Then I want to know uh, the after. After Kawe. After Kawe is, if you look there, after Kawe is 2 units. So you put that 2 units. After Parker is 1 unit. Okay, 1 unit. So I know that for total unchanged concept, the change is between one another. The total before and after will be the same. Okay, now, if you know what the, what's the meaning of total, total means plus, right? If I look at my before row, nothing to add because I'm already given the total. 45 is the total of Kawe and Parker. Right now, my information to add is my after row. So, 2 units plus 1 unit equals to 3 units. So, what I understand here is that 3 unit is equal to 45. I repeat, 3 unit is equal to 45. Just follow the arrow up. Okay? So we take it out and then we rewrite. 3 unit represent 45. 1 unit is 45 divided by 3 and I get 15. So I know that this 1 unit here is 15. Since I want Parker, I just focus on Parker only. Look at Parker's column. Do not do not look at Kawe's column because I do not want to find his. Okay? So now I know that in the end, he has 15. He has 15. Correct? He was actually uh, given 5 from Kawe. 
Okay, he was given five from Kawe. So at first, how many does he have? Okay, so 15 here will be plus five, right? You need to go backwards. Okay, so 15 minus five equals to 10. This is minus. All right, so 15 minus five equals to 10. So Parker have how many at first? 10. All right.